Hey everybody, Ryan Jackson here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So we made it through Article 230. I think we did like five or six videos just on Article 230. And we are now at Article 240, Overcurrent Protection. Um, you know, probably my favorite two articles to teach are Articles 300 and 240. And unfortunately, there wasn't that much that happened in Article 240. So I don't get to spend a lot of time in it. One of my favorite articles and just nothing to talk about. So Article 240, Overcurrent Protection. 240.24, location in or on premises. An exception was added for panel boards in existing bathrooms. Okay, so 240.24E, not in bathrooms. Uh, this has been in the code for quite some time, longer than I've been around, but for decades it only applied to dwellings. And then over the last few code cycles, we've expanded it, and now it just applies to everything. Over current protective devices, other than supplementary devices. Uh, by the way, supplementary device would be like a little uh, inline automotive fuse. So over current protective devices, breakers and fuses, are not allowed in bathrooms or showering facilities or locker rooms, period, end of story. Right, again, it used to only apply to dwellings. So when this, uh, when this, installation took place this was not a code violation maybe it's a working space violation you know we'd have to get out the tape and check it out but the fact that there's a panel board in this bathroom that was not a violation until the 2023 code if i'm not mistaken so what's interesting about this and and here's where the problem comes the rule does not say panel boards are not allowed in bathrooms the rule says overcurrent protective devices are not allowed in bathrooms. So, certainly if this is a new building, you can't put the panel board in the bathroom, right? Not because the panel board's not allowed, but because you can't put any breakers in it, right? Because overcurrent devices aren't allowed. But here's the problem. This was legal for 100 years, and now I walk into this building, or maybe I own this building, and I need to add a circuit. Can I now add a circuit breaker in that existing panel board? Or would that violate this section? I mean, the rule says overcurrent devices are not allowed in bathrooms. Well, you put in a breaker, guess what you just did? You put an overcurrent device in the bathroom, violation. Yeah, I guess that's what it says. But we have an exception that says, no, no, no. Installing an overcurrent protective device in an existing panel board in a bathroom is allowed if the panel board was installed before this requirement was added. And again, I think this requirement was added for commercial in, two, in 2023, for residential, at least 50 years ago. So if this is a commercial building, could I go in here and add a breaker? The answer is yes. So good clarification to deal with existing scenarios. So I think it's a good change. Um, unfortunately, they didn't make the same change for overcurrent devices installed in stairways, right? The very next section you read in 240.24 says panel board, <laughs> I almost did the same mistake. It says overcurrent devices are not allowed in stairways. So what if you have a panel board that's installed in a stairway, it's been there for 100 years, can you add a breaker to it? Well, right now the code doesn't say that you can. I would use the same logic. I would say, look, obviously the intent was that you can't do this for new construction but if the panel board's already there can you not add a breaker so uh, like i'm not going to tell you what to do but i would extend this same logic into the stairway requirement so all right there you go 240.24 man i wish i had more stuff to talk about in article 240 but it's just such a perfect article there's nothing else to discuss Okay, next video, we're going to talk about uh, a couple of different code sections, in fact, a couple of different articles, when we talk about some listing requirements for medium voltage stuff. See you then. Be safe. Have a good one.